Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, Part 1 Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank of the river with nothing to do. Once or twice, she had peeked into the book her sister was reading, but the book had no pictures or conversations in it. What is the use of a book? thought Alice. Without pictures or conversations, it was a hot day. The heat made Alice feel sleepy. She was thinking if the pleasure of making a daisy chain would be worth the trouble of getting up and picking the daisies. Just then, a white rabbit ran past her. There was nothing so very remarkable in that, nor did Alice think it so very peculiar to hear the rabbit say to itself, Oh dear, oh dear, I shall be too late. But when the rabbit took a watch out of its pocket, Alice jumped to her feet. She ran after the rabbit and saw him pop down a large rabbit hole. Alice followed the rabbit down the hole, never once thinking how she would get out again. The rabbit hole dipped suddenly down. Alice found herself falling down what seemed to be a very deep well. Either the well was very deep or she fell very slowly, for she had plenty of time to look about her. She looked at the sides of the well. They were filled with cupboards and bookshelves. Well, thought Alice to herself, after a fall like this, I shall think nothing of tumbling down the stairs. Down, down, down. Would the fall ever come to an end? I wonder how many miles I've fallen by this time, Alice said aloud. I must be getting somewhere near the center of the earth. Let me see. That would be 4,000 miles down, I think. I wonder if I shall fall right through the earth. How funny it will be to come out among the people that walk with their heads pointing downwards. I shall have to ask them what the name of the country is. Please, ma'am, is this New Zealand or Australia? She felt that she was dozing off when suddenly, thump, down she came upon a heap of sticks and dry leaves. Alice was not hurt. She got up and looked around. Before her was a long tunnel. The white rabbit was hurrying down it. Alice ran after him. She heard him say, Oh, my ears and whiskers! How late it's getting! She thought she was catching up to the white rabbit. Then she turned the corner and poof! He was gone! Alice found herself in a long, low hall. There were many doors, but they were all locked. She wondered how she would ever get out. Then Alice spotted a curtain she had not noticed before. Behind it was a little door about 15 inches high. She tried the little golden key in the lock. It fit! The door led into a small tunnel. It was not much larger than a rat hole. Alice knelt down and looked out into the loveliest garden she had ever seen. She longed to get out of that dark hall. She longed to wander about the garden, but the doorway was tiny. She could not even get her head through it. There seemed to be no use in waiting by the little door, so Alice went back to the table. This time, she found a little bottle on it. Hmm, said Alice. That was not there before. Alice looked closely at the bottle. The label said, Drink me. I'll look first, Alice said, to see if it's marked poison. The bottle was not marked poison, so Alice decided to taste it. She found it had a sort of mixed flavor. It tasted like cherry tart, custard, pineapple, roast turkey, toffee, and hot buttered toast. Alice drank it up. To be continued.